Welcome back everyone, Joe here, Joe's Outdoor Experience. So today I have Harry like usual, we got Alex. We're gonna go and uh, clear some of these smaller trees that we have at this upper food plot since that bottom looks amazing. We just drove down there and we're kind of blown away. I haven't been down there since last week and uh, we've been kind of just super busy with some other stuff. So we're gonna come in here, take down a lot of these smaller trees in this area behind me and uh, get this upper food plot prepped and ready to go. Uh, next week we're getting a few days worth of rain. We're gonna mow it one more time. And then I have a, a small bag of Whitetail Institute clover from last year that I have. I'm gonna plant it just over seed up here, try to get it. And then I'm gonna go to Green Resource, which is a seed distributor and buy a, uh, a 50 pound bag of clover. Um, I believe it's Ladino clover. And I'm gonna replant all this up here with that. So. If you guys like this sort of thing if you don't mind hit that like button if you're not subscribed we'd love to have you back just hit that subscribe button come follow us with this journey uh we were just talking trying to game plan what we're going to do regarding the box blind how we're going to get it up here and we're going to start that in the next few weeks hopefully getting it done and up and in this area that we have created here so if you guys like stick around we're going to get this going and see what we get done in the next uh little bit here see what we could break So what, what is this cut that you're gonna do here? Is this like a regular cut or is this the I'm one gonna that try you're... to do a plunge cut that uh, Piedmont Tree Service, a loaf showed me how to do. I'm gonna try it on this one. If not, I'm gonna go from the back and try to send it this way. I learned that on here, this is your guide as to where you're gonna try to aim it. So uh, I'm trying to go at this white oak behind us, this big one, in between those two stumps on the ground. So if okay. you wanna stand behind that tree, see what we can get going here. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not bothering nobody. <laughs> it's not. 
get this down. Hopefully save the swings off. <laughs> Alright, we got it out. Thanks all so good. Ah, so you go right through it. Yeah. Good cut, Joey.
of these two. Yeah? this one
so as you've seen we took down a few nothing too massive nothing too crazy but we're going to come back in here with the tractor grab all this stuff that's down in the next few days down in this area all this timber that's down we're going to go ahead and back up in this area with the tractor and the brush cutter the iron craft brush cutter take down the little twigs or whatever's too big we'll come back with the frisker snips snip out and uh, we only really have from these trees over here actually i'll walk you down this so you see what i'm talking about these trees here there's only about a 30 foot uh brush line that we have to cover these little tr shrubs and stuff will mow down and we'll be connecting it to that other plot it shouldn't be too too much uh, I am disappointed with up here. We have, even Alex and I have come up here during uh, probably February, March looking for sheds. We have yet to find any sheds in here. So uh, I wish we did find a few, but uh, we have yet to see any. But like always, if you guys like this sort of thing, if you can hit that like button. If you are not subscribed, if you can, please subscribe. We'd love to have you back. My name is Joe. This is Joe's Outdoor Experience. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, some exciting news. We went to the pro shop and Alex got measured out. He's got a 20 inch draw with a 14 pound draw weight. So uh, we might adjust that a little bit. That's, he pulled back three times on it. We're probably gonna go down a little bit more so he can start practicing. He really wants to get into it. I have my Matthews Creed going in. He, Alex picked out some new colors for the Great strings. Job. And uh, hopefully within the next two weeks, I should have that back. We're gonna go put it on paper and make sure everything's good to go. But. Like always, guys, thank you so, so much, and I hope everyone has a great day.